Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Goblin Time. Nope. Oh. What? <laughs> oh, that was not expected. Sorry, I've been playing way too much Shadow of Mordor, and was Shit. thinking... The sliding grill. I'm stuck. Ah, this is impossible. There's got to be a way. I, I was thinking I'd be able to survive. Oh. Oh, no. Ah, uh, okay. So, <laughs> I was thinking I'd actually be able to survive that? that. Somebody there? Uh-oh. It's a dude. It's Wait. Oscan. I'll open the passage for you. Hurry up inside. Huh? Oscan? Oh, my head. Yeah, I know that name. Oscan. Oh, yeah. Yes, you can trust him. Anyway, you don't have a choice. Well, I'm not entirely sure. About time, Sticks. I've been waiting for ages. I was beginning to wonder if Barryman and his gang hadn't done you in. There was a slight hitch. Well, I think so. Ah, my head feels like a wagon's gone through it. Well, we'll take care of that later. What are you doing here? Well, I'm here to tell you that I found a hideout, like you asked me to. I asked you? Uh, yeah, of course I asked you. Damn this headache. Uh, must be why I can't remember what I did even yesterday. Good. I'm off to the hideout then. You'll tell me the way? All you have to do is follow the marks I made here and there. You'll see. This is my personal system. As soon as you see the mark, then you know that one of my hiding places is near. You can go inside. There's one close by, with, as it happens, a list of other hiding places. You'll see. I often put some useful stuff inside. Thanks. I'm off. Whoa, 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 wait. You'll have to pick up the sewer pry bar in another hiding place. Oh, yeah. Uh, one thing I didn't tell you. The hideout is in the... Uh, Sewers. But you know how it is. The more it smells like shit, the quieter it is. You'll fit right in. And to think I was beginning to like you. Sorry to disappoint you, but with your looks, it's best not to take risks. And anyway, the royal suite was already taken. In short, go on ahead, pick up the pry bar, and open the entrance to the sewers. I'll see you at the hideout. Well, well. Looks like Ozcan carries a flask in his belt. Let's hope I haven't lost my touch. <laughs> oh, I see. So he... you can pickpocket a health potion off of him if you want to. Too bad I murdered everybody and have so many health potions, I don't know what to do with them all. So, let's uh, head for this hideout. I could easily it? find these marks with my amber vision. Hmm. All right. Oh, nope, nope, that was not the right move. Well, let's blow it up and get all of our stuff back. There we go, Amber Vision. Ah, there we go. And that also... No, that's... Whoops. Okay, so the marks, kind of potentially easy to see. If and when we're using Amber Vision. Hello. Beat it, old man. Ah, oh, watch out, Sticks. After what I did for you, you better keep your tongue behind your teeth. What? What did you do for me? I gave you the plans that will take you to the relics of the atrium. That cost me this fucking amber scar on my face. Besides, one shouldn't go too far. The relics of the atrium? You kidding me, Styx? Yes, the relics. The last objects of the great fallen lords. Yeah, of course it rings a bell. Yeah, well, good luck. I paid enough for this shit and all your schemes. I should keep my eyes peeled. These relics must be pretty valuable. Great collector that you are. You can have fun by discovering hidden relics and by bringing them back to your hideout. There's one permission. A dedicated tab in your mem menu allows you to find clues to their location. Once you have them, you can admire them in your hideout. Hmm, interesting. So, realistically, probably not that important of a thing, but could be useful anyway. 
or at least interesting. And, you know, added mechanic to the whole me stabbing the crap out of everybody thing. Interestingly enough, I guess, unless I'm using the vision, it might actually be kind of hard to notice some of the platforming stuff, too. No, oh, well, not a big deal. So, I guess... Get a guard down there, and we get the sewer pry bar. Well, that was a mistake. Let's murder him. I'm not entirely sure why I'm murdering quite literally everyone in this entire game. But I almost feel like it's a compulsion at this point to do so. I don't even know where all the guards are. Luckily, we're playing a third-person action game, so I can actually use the camera to look around in interesting and alternate ways. See, it doesn't look like there's anybody here, so let's just peer through. Is there even a reason for all of this? Nope, never mind. Alright, let's just head back out. I guess I could go this direction, or I could go up. This looks like a wildly different... Ooh, that's interesting. You can actually look up. I love it in games when you actually have, like, a nice view of the areas that you're going to. Anyway, that broom is actually clipping through the stairs. And I'll just leave him there. I doubt anybody's ever even going to notice him missing. So we got one dude sleeping there. Oh, 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 oh. Well, let's uh, solve our problems before they even become problems by stabbing so many people. Looks like there's a lot of people to murder in, th in this one. So uh, it's going to take me a little while. Let's just collect the bodies over here. Oh, wait. Are these? Yes. Throwing knives. To slay an enemy at a distance, you can use your throwing knives. For this, pick up the knife and then press the use item to throw at the targeted enemy. You can change the... Well, never mind. Does it come back? Nope. Okay. Well, I guess we'll have to figure the rest of it out on our own. Didn't I just kill one of these guards? Oh, well. <laughs> like, like moths to a flame. Like moths to a one very deadly flame. Oh, that's another blood spot. Luckily, it looks like the blood just kind of soaks into the parapets. That's actually kind of creepy. Well, have fun there, guys. Let's see, do we got another one coming along? Doesn't look like it. Gonna sneak over here just for a second, make sure there aren't any other guards patrolling through this area. The answer is no. So in that case, uh, let's murder this guy too. Honestly, the entire plan for this game is to murder quite literally everyone. I don't think there's actually a benefit for doing so, apart from the fact that I am a misanthrope and kind of enjoy the hunt. Like, maybe I'll do a second run through of this game later. Maybe for something awful or something like that where I actually sneak through and don't get caught ever. Don't get seen, don't get anything. But this way gives me a lot of flexibility. And I like flexibility. So there we go. 10 out of, 10 out of 20. Now we've got this thing here, but I'd prefer to stay on the upper platforms if at all possible. Just because it's easier to go down than up. And I'd prefer to stay up. Well, the going is good. Let's see what else we got around here. We got one servant, no guards, judging by everything. Okay, well, that makes my life easy. Sorry, dude. If you just excuse me, your, uh, your death is at hand. Let's just pick up the body, and realistically, I'll just toss him in this corner. I really don't want to have to bring him all the way back just so we can uh, dispose of him on the staircase, even though that would be quite hubris. Okay, do we have any guards going up the stairs? No? No. So I am good up until those guys over there. Might be able to do it without any issue. Let's just watch that one guy patrol just for a second. See where he goes with himself. Does he come this direction? No, he goes the other way. Hmm. Works for me. I'm just going to have to be very careful that he doesn't catch me. Well, I'm murdering his compatriot that's just sitting on the ledge. Because ideally... Okay, ideally we're just completely hidden right now. And as soon as he goes this way, we can get over here. Come on. There we go. So apparently I have to be on the exact same level. Oh, 
Oh, well, never mind. Uh, he's an archer. I'm just going to kidnap this body, considering that archer can't do anything. Ow. Well, never mind. Uh, well. Here's what we're going to do. Wait, can I? Oh, I think we're dead. He hit me with his bow. Oh, well. That's going to take a little bit of redoing. Damn. Okay, we're back, and I don't think he's going to notice me. So we've got a bit of an awkward situation. So we need to kill this guy, and the other guy will pretty much spot us if we do. So what I'm going to try and do, once he loops back over, because there's no way of killing him in front of the other guy, is once he gets over to the platform we're standing directly next to, I should be able to just pop up and stab him, as long as he doesn't turn around in opportune time. So before he even gets to the platform, I'm just going to hop over. Unless we get detected. Nope. I think we're good. No. Even here, there's no way to see beyond the walls. I'm not even sure who he's talking to, but that's okay. Oh, well, flying body. Glad he didn't notice it. There we go. Perfect. And so, one of the obnoxious things about this game is save points are only at the start of every mission, level, whatever you want to call them. So, pretty much you, you screw up. You have to start all the way over, or you have to save manually, which I'm not exactly happy about. I prefer not to save scum ever, but at the same time, if it means actually completing a mission, then that's what I'll have to do. Now let's try and get back behind this guy before he turns around and goes anywhere. Yep, perfect. Well, your death is predetermined. So we've got an archer over there. We've got a sleeping guy. Well, sleeping guy. He ain't no thing. It's just, let's just, yep, yep, death. Okay, let's quickly grab the body. I'm not entirely sure if the archer will be able to spot us, but it's best if we just leave him there. Yep, he looks totally awake. Honestly, I doubt... Ooh, hello. There's another dagger. I do kind of wish we could carry more than two. It seems a little odd that we can only carry two. Here, let's make it uh, buddy time. See, they're just taking a nap together. Oh, ain't they cute? Anyway, so let's quick save. Okay, while saving, I also noticed something else. I can make a noise. Nope. Not close enough for him to notice. So here's the question. How do I deal with these guys? Because one option is... Oh, shit. That didn't work. I was really hoping I'd be able to just flat out murder one of them. Doesn't look like the case. How far are they going to go? Please don't be too far. So ideally, one of them leaves before the other does. It's okay. It was nothing. Please. Got him. Before the other guy turns around. Okay, good, good, go. Got him. That was risky, but it worked. Okay, now let's quickly pop over to these guys. Carry height. Ah, damn. Doesn't have any more daggers for me. So, we're essentially daggerless, but we got past a fairly difficult area. Which I'm going to call a win. Let's look around. Doesn't look like there are any other daggers lying around. Looks like there's a lot of stuff, though. Now let's quickly uh, consult the map. So, we are on the right side near that weird thing. Whatever it is. We're along the right side. Yeah, that down there. Oh, it's a well. That's what it is. Okay, so we'll we'll be going down there shortly. So I think. Okay, so there's a guy there. There's another guy with his face turned the other direction. So as long as. Shit. Well, see you guys. Ow. Ooh. 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 Ooh, goodbye, 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 goodbye. Okay. Let's see how lucky we get. I'm, I'm trying. Okay, well, we get to murder him, and let's run away some more. Holy crap, we're injured. Ah. <sighs> volunteers in Arkadash. I've heard of him. Is he dead? Apparently not. 
Oh shoot. I'll be surprised. You can't survive here alone without food. Where is he going? Okay. He's turned back to the other he's turned back the other way. Wow, this might have actually worked out well for us. Yes, we lost a little bit of health in the process, but we managed to actually clear out a fair fair number of people surely by uh drawing them out. Oh, I wish I didn't have to get into melee combat to do it though, but uh works out, I guess. So we got these guys. Did I clear out this top portion up here? You know what? It's probably also a good point for saving. I I hate saving so frequently, but with such a high chance of failure, it's almost necessary. Oh right, I forgot. I can go invisible. Okay. Let's just keep popping around and oh, we get some more pocket sand at the very least. Oh. We are full up on pocket sand. Do we have anybody else hanging around here? Man, I could have done this so much more smoothly. Looks like we're good across the board. Might be able to go up there. I don't know. Definitely can go around the other direction. I'm hoping there isn't anybody. Oh, hello. We got this guy. Oh, geez. He's not in a convenient spot. Hopefully he doesn't come around the corner at all. But let's be ready to go invisible if he does. And if he doesn't, I can go invisible. Or, if he doesn't, I can just stab him. Or, I mean, break his neck. Yeah. Convenience. You know what? This is actually a really good stopping point. So, I'll see you guys on the next episode of Styx Master of Shadows. And, as always, thanks for watching.